Okay, y'all. So over the weekend, I watched, like it seems everybody else on the planet did, uh, I watched uh, Glass Onion and I said, you know what? Since it's fresh on my mind, let me run my mouth about it with my girls. Like, what's up? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Before this weekend, I had not even watched Knives Out or whatever. Um, because it's usually not the kind of movie I I gravitate to. But my friends were just like, you need to watch it because Glass Onion is coming out. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I did, and I really liked it. I love how, as you kept uh, moving forward in the plot, it was just more... And obviously, that's, a mis that's what a mystery plot is supposed to be. But I just love how it just kept unfolding and unfolding and taking turns that you really we're not expecting, you know? So then I'm, t I'm we see that Glass Onion is out and then Jan Janelle Monae is in it. So I'm just like, okay, yeah, definitely watching that. And I just have to say that she did such a good job. Like, wow, she did such a good job. Now, before we get into it, I'm just gonna talk about, j let's, just, let's just look at the cast. Let's just look at the characters who are in here. Of course, we got Mr. Blanc. Um, then we got Miles, owner of Alpha, wanting to use Clear. Uh, just the, when, when you talk about idiot billionaires, that's what, <laughs> that's what he is. That's what he is. Uh, Lionel, head scientist at Alpha. You had Clear, the governor, right? Connecticut? Politician. You had Birdie. Oh my gosh, Birdie was so, just, Birdie was just so ridiculous. Racism and slurs. That's all Birdie was about. <laughs> that's all she, especially on her social media and sweatshops, right? Uh, and then Peg, her assistant, who I'm just like, girl, you do not need to be working for this woman. Like, Peg, what are you doing? Duke was just every incel that you can imagine, just wrapped up into one. And at this point, I'd be wondering if Dave is acting, but we're gonna move on. Uh, and Whiskey, <laughs> we gonna, we gonna move on. We're gonna move on. And Whiskey is Duke's girlfriend. So let's pick it up from here because she was around here looking for her sister's Right? The envelope or the little, the, the, what you call it? Napkin or whatever they, that um, Miles had burnt up. So she's tearing up everybody's room and shit. So I thought that shit was fun. And at this point, when she, when she was picking a fight, when Duke was picking a fight with her and she came out here saying to Whiskey, like, you need to leave his ass. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Um, let's talk about how ridiculous this, th <sighs> This mansion is just so much. It was just so much. Like, and then every hour you had Miles' voice with the dong. It's just, I, <laughs> it's just terrible. It's just terrible. Um, so yeah, she continued tearing Dave's shit up until I think she had found what she was looking for in Miles' office. He came out and he burnt it up, obviously. So when the cat was out of the bag and everybody in the room was like, okay, Miss Helen started to tear up and smash Miles's glass sculptures, all the shit that he cared about, the, his prized possession. Now his dumb ass had, it's just, it ain't no way, first of all, I don't care about no goddamn Mona Lisa. Like, let's be real about that. But it ain't no way that I'm gonna have this Mona Lisa expensive ass painted in my house, period. I don't care what I'm doing. I don't care who, how much money I got. I don't care. You're not going to say that anything happened to that fucking Mona Lisa on my watch for y'all come get me. It's just not, it's not giving that. And he was just so dumb. He was just so dumb. Just like, oh yeah, the people who sent it to me every time something goes off or even so much as your phone goes off. Um, the protective things come up and protect the goddamn Mona Lisa. And he's like, no, well, I hacked it. I, I took it off. I'm just like, why would you do that? But I mean, what, whatever. So, um, Helen continues to smash the place up. She lights the place on motherfucker fire. And then we realize that Blanc had given, uh, Helen this, this clear thing. Remember it's that fuel or energy resource that is very unstable, very fucked up. And one of the reasons why Helen's sister was just ousted, right? So we see that she has this clear now. Helen has the clear in her hands and Miles is like, oh my God. <laughs> she throws it in the fire and it just completely explodes the entire house. And I was like, oh my God. Now you could see while all of this was going, well, before this happened, that Miles was trying to play it off, like play it cool. Like, oh yeah, they're smashing my glass sculptures. They're, sc they're smashing all the things I care about in this room, but it's fine, it's fine. But as time went on and more and more things started getting smashed, you could see him becoming um, uncomfortable until we reached, of course, this climax. I love when <laughs> the smoke thing went off in the garden again and 
he was just like, well, <laughs> he was just like, well. So the whole fucking house on fire. It's just, the car then came down. <laughs> the car that he doesn't even use because he can't drive this shit around the island. Like, you gotta be kidding me. So the car came smashing down. And Helen was like, okay, bet. And she running towards something. I'm like, what is she running towards? What is she running towards? She go running towards this thing that keeps the Mona Lisa behind that glass, behind that protective shit. And Miles, it didn't seem like Miles was trying hard enough. It's the Mona Lisa. How was she able to just, I mean, she's a bad bitch, but how was Helen just able to just push you off and keep running towards this shit? It's the Mona Lisa, girl, you ain't trying. You ain't trying. Helen press that button, bitch. <laughs> Helen press that button and I got my life. Look at Miles' face, look at his face. Look at his, he's like, oh my God. Yeah, because your ass is stupid. Why, why would you ever have the Mona Lisa in your, I'm not, I don't give a fuck. I'm not having that shit in my house. I'm not, I mean, even if I did have the monetary social standing, to even step close to the fucking Mona Lisa. There's just no way that, first of all, there's no way that no museum would give your ass that shit. And if they did, they'd probably play with your ass and be like, yeah, it's the real thing and send you a replica. But there's just no way that I would ever do that. And so Miles, when they all sitting out here, and honestly, a couple of these characters so vile that's sitting down here on, on these steps that y'all don't even need to be in our little redemption circle here, especially Birdie. Like, oh my gosh, she's so vile. She's so vile. So I'm not trying to see them get no type of redemption. Y'all, if y'all say y'all gonna speak up and testify against Miles, that's what you should have did. All of y'all were, what did they say? <laughs> Sucking the tit um, of, of Miles's coin and all of that shit is over with now. But Miles came out here just acting like, oh, well, girl, are you happy now? I think it was calling her a baby. I think it was also saying that she was throwing like a bitch fit or something like that. And Helen was just like, okay, you can continue to insult me, but what actually happened here is that you destroyed the Mona Lisa <laughs> with Claire, the, the resource, the energy resource, or whatever that is obviously unstable. You destroyed it with that. So not only is your company fucked up and people gonna come after you um, for the, destroying the Mona Lisa, but your the public launching of whatever you were trying to do is not gonna happen either. So you're completely fucking ruined. You're completely ruined. I just think Janelle Monae did that damn thing. Like she just was so good. And when she came on the set, when she came on the scene, it was, it, she. you could tell that she was disrupting. She was disruptive or other people consider her disruptive. And then she just got, she got shot and then she was laid out. And I was like, y'all can't just, I was like, y'all can't just have Janelle Monet in a movie and just shoot her and that's, that's the end of that. I was, I was, it was, the movie was about to piss me off. But then when I realized that obviously the bullet had been blocked by her sister's diary, journal, whatever, and that she wasn't really dead. I was like, okay, okay. Uh, but that final act of this movie was just so, it was so great to see Janelle do her thing. Like, it was just so great. And we know that she's the actress. We already seen her moonlight, all type of shit. But like, you know, I just love to see, I love to see black women winning. I really do. <laughs> I really do. I love how all the pieces came, like tied back at the end of the movie, because remember Miles was like, oh, I want my name to be remembered with the Mona Lisa. And Helen was like, yeah, girl, it's going to be remembered with the Mona Lisa. I love how um, Miles burnt up, right? The, the evidence or whatever, and then his house ended up getting burnt up. I loved also how in the beginning of the movie, uh, Janelle Monet's character, Helen, was smashing the box up that she received. Right, while the other people, when they got the box, they played the game. And it was just very symbolic of like, yeah, she ain't gonna play y'all game, just like the rest of y'all playing this game to get in here. She ain't gonna play y'all game. But also the fact that her smashing the box up was effective, was just as effective as her smashing um, Miles' house up. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like little things like that, but they're big things. You know, I, I really like to see, it was, it was fun. It was fun. And real quick before we end the video, I would like to say that I was so happy when Duke passed away. I was so happy when Duke passed away. I cannot believe that he had a gun sitting there for the whole entire movie, basically, um, right next to his boss. Like, you have got to be kidding me. Um, but he, the type of shit that he was saying, 
um, was just like, wow, I've seen the, I've seen your type of personality on the internet before, uh, Duke. But I'm happy you're no longer with us. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this movie, about Janelle Monae's performance, all of that. Love y'all so much. And also, Blanc is gay, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the video, and I will catch y'all later. Peace. <laughs>